Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today, I just left the post office and I received this wonderful package from a sister. And I hope you don't mind me mentioning you. Sister Kathleen, I love you and I thank you so much for sharing with the ministry. Friends, I want to share with you, she sent me some handmade greeting cards. It comes with the greeting card, which is on the top, and then the handmade, this is rice paper, it's handmade greeting card. Absolutely stunning. These are so pretty. Sister Kathleen, I just had to share them with the rest of the family of God. But I want to show you what you can do with greeting cards. And I've already passed them out since I, some of them out. She sent me a big old pack of them. Sister, I am so excited. This is what I love. Outreach is my ministry. Um, me and Daniel, my son Daniel, say hi, Daniel. Hi. Here, let me turn the camera. Say hey. Hi. So me and Daniel spending the day together. Today is his day, Saturday. And so our first um, errand was to just grab my um, check the P.O. box. And so as soon as I got these, I went into ministry mode. This is just how we do it. So when I went through uh, Taco Bell line to get Daniel a little taco something, a little something, something. I was able to give a random act of kindness of this greeting card to two of the young men. One was um, the cashier and the other guy was just sitting right there on the lot. And I was like, come here. I told him, I said, I want you to choose one woman in your life, not a girlfriend. It could be your wife, auntie, grandmother, and just give them this beautiful handmade greeting card. The one young man, France, he lit up like a Christmas tree. He found that this paper, see you all can't see the texture. I don't know if you can see in the camera, the texture, I, I, it's a little dark in where I'm parked. Friends, this is some beautiful rice paper. Absolutely beautiful. He lit up like a Christmas tree. And I told him it's handmade. He could not wait, friends. Look at this. That's an orange and yellow. Here's one that's orange. Look at this pink one. Oh, oh, look at this one, friends. Aren't they beautiful? So if you got greeting cards that's just sitting around, this is another creative way we can evangelize. And I also got my bag of soaps for today. Whenever I leave out the house, I got my soaps for hope. And those of you who are distributors of our soaps, as many of you all across America, we ship these soaps to you. You just keep them in a nice, cool uh, a little bag. And it's best not to leave them in the car because some of the soaps, depending on after we have made them, they're not fully cured, which means dried out um, with all the water so they may sweat a little bit. So always, uh, soap distributors, keep the soaps in a cool, dry place. Get you a little decorative bag. And for some of the men, because we have quite a few men that pass out our soaps all over America, just keep them in a black bag, something cool, but don't leave them in a hot car. So friends, there you have it, a creative, easy, simple, straight to the point way to evangelize with all your old greeting cards. In this case, I get to give them handmade greeting cards. Friends, I've been doing this for years. And I'm telling you, when I received this big old package from you, Sister Kathy, immediately I was like, yes. So friends, Listen, I want to say this. We got to do better. As God's people, the scriptures teach us that Jesus went about doing good. Everywhere Jesus went, he was doing good. So just putting out little morsels of hope just to spread hope to our fellow man. This is how we do it. Many of you that may not know what your gifts and your talents and your calling, this is how you engage the spirit. You got to go for friends and think about your fellow man. And I want you to know, we just recently had a, a shooting in Oklahoma, and they 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 um, 
found a YouTube video that the shooter made. And what did he say? He said he was lonely and he was losing his mind. Friends, these are the people that we believe to get our soap in the hands of people who don't have hope. That's why God gave me this assignment to make these soaps, to give hope. Friends, come on. What do you have in your hand? What can you do to spread hope? What can you do, friends? You could go to the dollar store and pick out the, the, the best quality from that dollar rack of those greeting cards and, and purpose to pass out one a day. Friends, come on, we could do this. Here's my bag of soaps. They'll all be gone before I make it back home today. God bless you, my friends. This is the power of doing random acts. We don't know who. We are able to stand in proxy to keep alive till they can meet Jesus. Whether we're telling them to be that they must repent and turn from sin or we're just moving them along in the journey called life. I love you, my friends. Say bye, Daniel. We're about to go spend time bye. at Daniel's favorite place, the library. Daniel loves hanging out at the library, so I'm hanging out with him. Okay, I love you guys. Till next time. God bless. Let's get busy, friends. Random acts of kindness. You keep them in your car, in your purse. It's so easy breezy. Come on, friends. It, it's a new season. We keep saying it. Come on. It's a new season. It's a new day for you. Come on. Spread hope. Morsels of hope everywhere we go. Amen. God bless you, my friend. Till next time.